Welcome KTM 690 owners. Um, I want to show you how to reset the TPS throttle position sensor on your KTM 690. So I didn't realize how important this was. Uh, I didn't realize that a lot of people don't really know this. Um, I've known it for a long time. I've done this many times to my bike. Um, but I was talking to a friend the other day and he didn't know about it and he's a 690 owner. And then uh, myself, I actually used it the other day uh, to fix some run problems with my motorcycle. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. It just takes a few seconds and uh, it can make a huge difference in the way your bike runs and maybe yours isn't running correctly at the moment. So here we go. What we're gonna do, first thing, is we have a ride-by-wire system on the KTM 690. So it doesn't use a throttle cable, it's electronic. And most of you might know that, but um, what happens is it can get uh, out of calibration. So what we're gonna do first, is we got the motorcycle dead, cold engine, and we turn the key on and we wait for the 690 to go through its little startup motion here and we have it here sitting at zero you can hear like a fuel pump or whatever running and all we do is we reach over here and go all the way open till it stops and then all the way closed until it stops come back to the key and turn it off all right so what we did there was we re told it to recalibrate the full range motion of the throttle. And specifically the other night when I was riding, um, it was really late at night and I was leaving my friend's house and I didn't want to wake uh, the neighbor up with my motorcycle. So I had just coasted it down the driveway. And uh, basically what happened is I had turned the key on so the headlight would go on so I could see when I was coasting and I must have uh, bumped the throttle or something, I don't know, while I was a uh, rolling it. So when I got down to the little stop sign at the end of the driveway and I started the bike and it was sitting there idling, I could just give it a whole bunch of gas and it was just blah, blah. There was like no, no power at all. And I was like, oh man, you know, this is 1.30 in the morning or whatever. So basically I did exactly what I just showed you. I had the engine dead, turned the key, went through the full range of motion on the throttle on and off and then turned the key off, restarted the bike, and it ran completely normal, revved up normal, all those sorts of things. That's all it took to get the bike running, and that's all it took to get it running bad. If you feel like your bike's throttle response is terrible or something like that, you can uh, try this. It just takes a second and it's free. Just turn the key on, do the throttle, turn the key off, start the bike up, and it might run normal. I do it every once in a while. If uh, anecdotally, I feel like the bike is running kind of funny, um, I just do that real quick, just, uh, just because, and that will reset the throttle position sensor on your KTM 690 Enduro, or probably any other, uh, e-gas bike, uh, Duke and 990s and 1090s and 1290s and 1190s and all the, all the things with 90s in the name. Anyway, hope that helps. Uh, if you like this video, check out, uh, something that'll pop up in here. Uh, my KTM 690 playlist and there's all kinds of stuff for the the 690 in there There's riding videos. There's tips. There's a uh, modifications all sorts of stuff. You think this is useful I've got lots of tips like this I'm gonna give you another one here real quick that I didn't realize other people know and so subscribe so you can get that stuff. Thanks for watching